Hello, my name is Sabrina. Today is 12-8-12 and I want to give a technique that was gifted to me over a year ago um, from an angel. I've actually been receiving multidimensional sexual information for a while, um, but I haven't been ready to do anything with it. And for whatever reason today, 12-8-12, it's, it's the day that it's all... Um, you know, getting expressed publicly or, or starting to be expressed publicly. So this is what happened uh, over a year ago in this, I had a couple dreams actually, and this angel guided me on this connection technique. So this is a, a beautiful, wonderful resource tool to use to connect. Why do you want a tool to connect? Well, in order to have the full multidimensional experience or to start to access the full multidimensional experience, a full multidimensional orgasmic um, capacity, there's prep work that needs to be done. And this makes sense if you think about it. Um, imagine before you started meditating. At first when you try to meditate and connect with different aspects of yourself or communicate with other beings or travel to other realities, you know, at first it's, it's, it's uncomfortable. It's awkward. You're not familiar with the process. You're not familiar with, you know, how, how do I get into that altered state? So you have tools to help assist you learn how to do it. You maybe listen to guided meditations. You maybe go to different places in nature that help you just to really get in the zone and get into that altered state that you can really connect fully with yourself. So multidimensional sex, you also have tools. You have processes to help you get into that altered state, that altered place, so you can really have the full multidimensional experience, sexual experience you know, with your partner and with yourself. So the angel shared with me, step one is, and this is going to sound really easy, and when you go to try it, you might be shocked at how challenging it is. In fact, I was so angry because it was really, really, um, I was shocked that it was hard and I was really mad because I couldn't do it right away. Um, so here's step one. Step one is, before you and your partner are together, um, and this, the angel didn't tell me this, but this is just my knowing. Um, before you get together, if you want, have intentions. You know, intentions are powerful manifestors. You know, what, what's the purpose of your getting together? Are you just wanting to have more heart connection? Are you wanting to have more, you know, love between you? Are you wanting to get more confident and comfortable with each other physically and sexually? Are you wanting to explore multidimensionally together? Do you want a remote view? Do you want to tap into other parallel realities that you might be sharing together, you know, maybe think of a couple intentions that you have for the experience. They don't have to be the same intentions. You can each have separate intentions and the intentions are still honored. Um, that's my belief system and my secrets to a great multidimensional sex tip that, um, that I believe in. Okay, but this is what the angel shared with me. So you and your partner are going to be together. You're, you're intentionally in planning this intimacy together. Well, before you start the physical touching and the, the experience of being together physically through touch and whatever way you're going to be together, before you connect physically, you, you are in a position where you're facing each other, perhaps like sitting, you know, like on each other's laps kind of thing where you're facing each other or sitting in front of each other. And so you can see each other. You can, you can connect with your eyes before, you know, before you get started. And the first thing you want to do, take some cleansing breaths, take some deep breathing, you know, clean, you know, cleanse the energy and, and get some cleansing breaths. Then you want to individually connect. So you want to personally do your own personal solo connection. Anchor yourself, connect to yourself, get yourself by yourself in your own altered state. Like so be fully wholly connected before you try to, you know, intertwine and engage in connecting with your partner. So you want to come to the table whole. W H O L E whole, full. You want to be fully in your body fully connected to your emotional, mental, physical, energetic, spiritual, whatever you, you know, terms you like, but you want to be a whole person. 
So get into that altered place where you're whole and you're and you're connected. You're anchored in. You're you're in that place. Now that might take time for some of you. Some of you maybe get there like in two minutes because you have so much experience and and practice and familiarity with this. Other people it might take you a while. So maybe as a couple you want to listen to a guided meditation and get yourself into that really solid place where you're in that alternate, fully connected with yourself reality. So that's step one. Step two energetically entwine your circle with your partner's circle. Energetically take your energy body and intentionally connect it to your partner's energetic body. Kind of think of a merging, you know, kind of like, you know how they do they do the merging. You want to merge together. So you're coming together and you want to merge. Now this seems really easy. I found this to be incredibly difficult and the angel knew I was mad because it's hard, right? And uh, I, I guess I kind of think I'm good at things or I'm aired, I don't know, whatever. I was mad because I couldn't do it. But what the angel shared with me is um, to intentionally intertwine your energy with someone takes so much vulnerability, takes so much trust, takes so much awareness so much in you know consciously connecting on so many levels and see we've been raised we're kind of we know how to give our body to somebody that's easy I mean yeah okay whatever like you know you can give your body you can give your sexual organs to someone that's easy that's effortless but to give your emotions to someone to give your heart to someone to intentionally bring all of you to the, the table and allow all of you to intertwine with all of them and take on all of you know their emotions their heart and you know it, it sounds so easy because you're in love or you're you know in a great relationship with this person and you're like yeah yeah I want to blend I want to blend with them but we're not used to really blending in full vulnerability in full awareness you know, where are you still like, oh, here's my body. Okay, here's, you know, here you have access to this, you know, you can touch my skin, you can touch, you know, these organs, blah, blah, blah. But that's not fully energetically entwining and entangling and encircling and blending with a person. That's a whole nother level. And it's, um, it sounds really easy, but, you know, for for a lot of people it's not because of the trust of the fear that they could hurt you of the vulnerability and so that's a step two is energetically connect and some people maybe they can do this easily other people it might take a while to do it um, but you'll find as you practice this technique with your partner you'll notice a difference and maybe initially you've like okay we've connected we're good to go right well, as you continue to play these with these practices and say, you know, a few weeks or a few months down the, the road, when the connection happens, it's so much more full. It's so much more fully connected. It's just deeper layers. See, our connection levels can happen in layers. Multidimensional is way more than a singular, you know, linear. It's layered and layered and layered and circular and circular. So the connections are going to continue to deepen widen, anchor in, expand up. It's just going to continue to to strengthen uh, on so many levels. So that's step two. And then, of course, step three to, you know, go where you, you're going to go. But it's really interesting, and, and we can see why so many people don't get the multidimensional sexual experience and uh, abilities because, you know, most people don't participate in sexuality this way. It's, you know, they just jump right to three where it's the touching and it's the interaction physically and, and they haven't done their personal work by themselves and they haven't done the energetic work as, as a couple. So just wanted to share this from the angel. Thank you.